apartment break-in? He didn't elaborate, and I'm not sure how I might be able to assist with this. But if Yannick is involved, I'll do whatever I can. How can I help? We found human revolution graffiti spray painted all over the apartment, and some things were stolen. I was hoping you might be able to point us in the direction of whoever did it. Ah, well, the human revolution certainly does not condone such actions at all. We're a peaceful organization, and threatening people is not going to earn us hearts and minds. But, off the record, some of our younger members can be a bit overzealous, as any hot-headed teenager tends to be. <laughs> I'll look into this matter personally, and if I discover that any of our younger members were involved, they'll be turned into the proper authorities. I'll also let Yannick know anything I find out. Is there something else I can help you with? What questions can I answer for you? At our core, we are a peaceful movement and seek only to convince people to vote according to the truths we reveal to them. The human revolution has faith that American democracy will win out in the end. It falls to us to make sure that people are informed about the daunting and confusing technologies they put their senseless faith into every day. On a personal level, we would like to exhort every individual to try and live more simply and reject any gadget or medicine that would make us less than we are. It kind of sucks because, in the perspective of Jess, she didn't do it because she wanted to look a specific way. She did it because her body wasn't allowing her to... <laughs> Forget about it. <laughs> wasn't allowing her to live like how she wanted to. So she had to do some extreme things in order to live. But to see people do that and judge her for doing that. Rather, I mean, not knowing her story and just assuming that she wants to look a specific way. I'm trying to say uh, it does suck that we're kind of well there are people out there that will say like this type of thing that we have to be human and all that crap but it's like it's a choice they pay for it you shouldn't if you don't like it that's fine you can stay human it's not gonna bother you while you die and young they're gonna live forever because they are willing to pay to take care of themselves give me a second i have to do something really quick
Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> It just sucks to think that instead of just leaving people to do what they want to do, instead of... Instead, we just... As a majority, think that we know what's best for people. I wouldn't want to use science to prolong my life like forever, but it, it, that we're human. And in order to live a good life sometimes we have to do things that we can't control like her getting skin cancer that's like not something that living our lives in a specific way would have prevented us from getting skin cancer and yet there are people who will think that you got it you have to live with it and you have to die and it's like no there is new medicine there is new technologies and if we can use that to, you know, heal ourselves, why not? But I think a lot of these people just think that they're doing it just to look a specific way and not necessarily true because look at Jess. There are some people that did do it to look in a specific way, but it doesn't matter. They chose to do that and we should respect their choices. But uh Hold it. <laughs> we hope to educate the public about the dangers of rapid technological advancements. We want to warn the country away from thoughtlessly accepting every scientific discovery we make before it's too late. We used to say that splitting the atom would surely bring about the end of humankind. But now we're changing the very things that make us human. Our biology, with nothing to ensure our safety. The revolution we're after is humanity as a whole making the decision to remain as we were created and return to how we lived before genetic science put us on the wrong course. This world is Icarus, flying too close to the sun. It's only a matter of time before our arrogance becomes our demise. Just because we can, doesn't mean we should. Genetic modification is one of the most dangerous sciences we've ever fooled around with. It's playing God on the highest order and threatens to unseat what humanity is altogether. Cybernetics is a dangerous path as well, selling off pieces of ourselves bit by bit for mechanical strength and resilience. But at least a brain-controlled android is still a human brain, even if in a metal box. There is a reason Congress enacted laws prohibiting highly modified hybrids from breeding. Now, I do not fault the individuals who come here for treatment, many of whom are disabled and deathly ill. If you ask me, genus isn't the kind of therapy they all need. take a stand against the medical research industry that would have us cast aside our humanity for their miracles. Is there something else I can help you with? Of course! If you have any other questions, feel free to come back. I always have time for the press. You clearly missed doing real journalism. I'm impressed. <laughs> I think you're starting to get back into the hard-boiled investigative journalist thing. Hopefully 
we'll get lucky enough to turn up a new lead, even if this one didn't pan out like we'd hoped. This really sucks that there are people that would... I mean... I, I can understand... one side of it, but... I mean, it, 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 people shouldn't care how they look. If we if we can move into that age, that's that's because that's we're human. That's what we do. We don't become any less human I guess in a sense. Uh, I don't believe what he's trying to do is good. Because um, even for genetic modifications, it does suck for people. I mean, if they, they're doing it to look like a cat or a wolf, you know, that's not important. But that's what they want to do, and I can't really say don't do it because <laughs> that's their life. <laughs> but even then. A lot of people aren't doing it because they want to genetically modify themselves. Some of them have sicknesses. And for them to be there and say, you know, we have to stop the genetic modification of people because we're losing our humanity. It's like, mm, no, you're... You're doing... You're stopping everyone from being able to get healed. Mostly. Because, like, rest, like I'm saying, Jess. Skin cancer. <sighs> I think he was considerably less deluded than my searches on the mesh net had led me to believe. Oh, well, he didn't appear to be lying, but I'm not equipped with interrogation sensors. You have more experience with this than I do. Do you think he was telling the truth? Hmm. I'll continue observing you and try to discern how to read people as we question them. A useful skill I find myself sorely lacking in. Lead on. Don't forget, we're still here to actually break up these protests. Let's see if we can't figure out a solution together. Make sure to look around and think carefully. I'm sure we'll find some... I know what I need to do. Interesting. A RSU Climate Control ROM Model 6703, if I am not mistaken. Apparently, it is owned by the Hassi Bar, based on this identification marker. than just say thank you. It looks really expensive. Anyway, what can I get you? A drink I can do, and I guess I have some time to talk. The protesters outside the clinic are driving off a lot of my regular customers. Filling up my bathroom too, jerks. So, what do you want to know? Does a good job, huh? Yeah, that's fine. Well, technically, it's property of Hassie Holdings. We 
spent some mints on it, but the rest of the block helps pitch in for maintenance costs since I usually set it to patrol the whole area. You should check it out when we do Christmas in July. It can cover the whole street in snow, as long as it's cloudy enough to keep the sun off. Sort of like today. Sorry, but that thing cost me way too many credits to let just anyone poke at it. I would need to see some serious credentials before I let you mess with it. You know, enough to make sure you can afford to replace it if you break it. Otherwise, no touching. Sorry, that's how you speak. I just mean he's really cute and lovable. And you kind of want to hug him forever, you know? A lot of otaku come around here. Probably because I own the place. I'm used to being able to shoot my mouth off and not explain all the jargon. Yeah, I know it's a bit out of fashion, but I'm a history buff. The past really gives context to stories of the present. You know what I mean? I've been to Tokyo. Twice already. The old otaku resists the new culture of the saishi in the same way their parents refuse to give up cassette tapes. Oh, sorry. The saiba shibito. The cyber death. In the early 21st century, Japan had an epidemic of chronic shut-ins, and the rise of direct link virtual reality only made that worse. Suddenly, people weren't just refusing to leave their rooms, they were refusing to leave their heads. But as the technology got better, the Saishi were the first to figure out how to use their own brains to sculpt cyberspace. Computers are good at thinking in straight lines, but the human brain is capable of so much more. The best virtual landscapes, the most real VR dramas and games, are created by the Saishi. Now, even if an earthquake or a meteor or whatever leveled Japan, they still have Neo Tokyo built on the VR net. But enough babbling. If you're interested, I'm sure you can find more out on the mesh or use an induction helmet to visit Neo Tokyo yourself. It's a trip, especially for newbies. Oh, I never introduced myself, did I? I'm Ramona. I guess there isn't much to tell. I went to college, got a degree, took out a loan and bought this place. Now I spend my days trying to find enough time and money to sustain my VR drama addiction. My priorities are justice, cute stuff, and magical girls in that order. What else? I pretty much don't leave the store. Look, they've got the right to protest, but I don't have to like it. Once they're done with the hybrids, I know they'll be coming for me next. So I'll be voting appropriately. And if I have to unclog one more toilet because I'm an entitled bigoted jerk face, I will lose my goddamn mind! Oh, you can't tell? I've got a cybernetic arm and leg, thanks to an auto pack crash when I was a kid. I also got neural links for VR interfacing. If it was up to those dinosaurs, I'd be stuck in a wheelchair right now. Or worse, depending on how far back they want to push our medical technology. It's already illegal for me to have a rocket-powered fist! What more do they want? System one? Why are you giving me his card? Yes! He's 
getting on in years, and it would be useful for when he goes out and about. That's why we wanted to see it before. Uh... Yeah, okay. I guess you can take a peek. Don't bust it, though. I scanned this card, and I swear if you break my ROM, I'll be calling your boss. Here's the RFID key to access it. Thank you. This will surely be useful for our needs. Shall we go check it out? Achievement <laughs> for looking at every plant. control settings. Maybe we could make things a little more festive. Christmas is my favorite season. Should I switch it to snow mode? I, for one, didn't bring any winter wear. Let's call it a day for now. Excellent work! While I still have doubts about the moral superiority of using subterfuge to disperse a protest, we at least accomplished our goal peacefully. To be frank, considering how the human revolution is clearly working against my personal interests, I won't waste many clock cycles puzzling that ethical quandary out. Hmm. Might I draw your attention to those youths over yonder? Counterculture clothing, obvious bad attitudes, and graffiti paraphernalia. Those could be our suspects who damaged my home in the name of revolution. Right. We should approach them cautiously as to not start a confrontation with the wrong individuals. They may even point us to the true culprits. Oh no, they've noticed our attentions. Come along, maybe we can catch them. Never catch them on foot. Hold on, I'm calling for an auto cab of our own. I know it seems a great deal of trouble for such a tenuous lead, but I have a hunch about them. The wicked flee when no man pursueth. Ah, uh, the auto cab is estimated to take five minutes to. We'll never be able to engage in pursuit fast enough to catch up to them. Perhaps we should call Tomcat. Maybe they can do some bit of techno-wizardry and stop that cab. Excellent! Hold on while I connect us. Howdy, folks! How's the search for the data cache going? Actually, that's what we're calling about, Tomcat. We may have located the perpetrators, but they eluded us and are making their escape in an auto cab. We attempted to use a cab of our own to tail them, but it hasn't arrived and they're getting away. Can you hack the cab and stop it? <sighs> no can do, little guy. Security on those cabs is tight, and the dang thing will shut down its external neck connection long before I get in. Unless... 